The autumn wind is a pirate. What's up guys? Welcome back. I have very good news actually today. The Raiders have won again at Allegiant Stadium in front of everybody in overtime. So the first week of the NFL season uh, was a win in overtime against the uh, Baltimore Ravens. And today we win on our second home game of the year at Allegiant Stadium in overtime. It went back and forth. Overtime was not easy to watch, but uh, we got the ball first because we won the coin toss, but we went down the field with great plays, like a great reception that Henry Ruggs made um, along the sideline. That guy can just jump up. He's really not even that small. He's a big dude. Um, he's just not like over six feet, but he's like six feet on a good day. And, uh, but he's just incredibly fast and he has hops because so he can jump up like he did on that play and really make a, a heck of a play where like you wouldn't have thought that he could jump up that high to make the, the connection with the ball and then just come straight down and get both feet in. Um, and also Brian Edwards played a hell of a game made so many good catches um, through coverages, um, but he's just that slick, you know? And Derek Carr is that smooth also with some of his throws. And so definitely Brian Edwards made another thrilling catch to score up the game-winning field goal in overtime. Um, we scored two. Um, the first time we score, then we have to kick the ball off because it wasn't exactly a touchdown. Only a touchdown can win the game. They went, they got the ball, and then they ended up also scoring just the field goal. So then on our third possession, um, we start, we made some big plays. And also Barber, number 31, the running back um, from the preseason, who had a great preseason, is on the team and is contributing. Had a, an, a game over 100 yards today and had a big run there on that, on that final possession in overtime to set up a... A game, an easy game winning field goal for Carlson. Now, you know, Carlson missed his extra point on that last touchdown that we scored in regulation time. It should have been 26 to, I think it was like 14 or something. Um, but we should have had 26. And with that missed extra point, it became just 25. And eventually, you know, that came into the equation because after they scored a field goal it was they were um they were within eight points it was an eight point game after they had scored a field goal and then we just didn't score anymore not even any field goal or anything after that missed extra point um so yeah so then they tied up the ball game right before the end of the fourth quarter um and scored a two point two point conversion so that made it 25 25 and then overtime it's we make it 28 25 then 28 28 and then we make it 31 28 um so i mean honestly guys like this game didn't start good it it didn't it uh it was looking very good when we saw how Derek Carr was and the offense was just marching down the field on that opening drive but it 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 didn't it I thought for sure okay we're gonna get points now but no Derek Carr actually threw a pick six okay so we were down by seven points and then we went for it um out of I don't know frustration or whatever it was a fourth and one on our own like 31 after we had just gotten a pick six and like next time next series right and uh john gruden was like no we're gonna go for it i was like all in i guess i shouldn't have been and nobody else should have we should have just you know punted the ball away but uh but then they scored after we we didn't um convert on that fourth and one and then for most of the game i mean they just could not generate any points whatsoever. The only real points I could have, I might have been able to count for them where they had a decent drive was that missed field goal right before halftime. 
think about that. The whole half, I didn't really see any of their 14 points on the scoreboard being well-deserved, right? Like they were just like there, you know, it was like ridiculous. Um, so yeah, we, and then they start, you could see like the players too, like just being, um, silly about like how they're up and stuff. And you could see some of our players just taking on that role of that Raiders mentality where it's like, yeah, we're not like, we don't get favoritism, but we're going to, you know, play hard and get this dub which is good to see that mentality, but we really should be getting breaks too, you know? Um, and we did, we did. I feel like some some good no calls were made in our favor. Like they had a, they had a pass attempt in the, uh, in overtime um, where they really just went all deep to their number one target, the guy, number three, I don't, I don't even know what his name is, but he's actually the dude that caught the, uh, two-point conversion also but in overtime they targeted him testing Abram number 24 Jonathan Abram and he arrived there early to make the uh the block but uh it was just really it was just them two in the in the end zone and that was a good no call so yeah guys um we got very lucky I think I think even you could tell that the uh, commentators broadcasting the, the game itself start liking the Raiders. Um, we're beginning to generate like really good football. I feel like their cars making really good throws. Um, and you could hear that like people's perception of our team is really beginning to, to change. And we're beginning to be seen as like a, a good team to watch, an exciting team to watch just because of like the style of football that we bring. Everybody's trying so hard, man. It's not even just like their car, you know? It's just like everybody on the offense, everybody on the defense and special teams. Um, all the players that I'm seeing are contributing in huge ways. These These three first games that we have of the year out of these three games we've played have been team wins all over the board, you know? And so it's just great to see football being played like that on all three phases, you know? Um, and so, yeah, I'm very relieved to see that we did win today. I had no doubt we were gonna win, you know, before the game, like just leading into Sunday today. But yeah, it got a little bit uh, serious there when we, realized that like we were actually gonna have to go to overtime but yeah it's just crazy it's crazy that we were down again 14 nothing and then somehow we're in this game up eight points and making it tough on them like worst case scenario is like is like we go into overtime you know when you're kicking the ball away to them it's like our team is really playing with that kind of swagger that heavyweight AFC style. And that's what we want. We want the Raiders to return to those days, man, of just like, you know, dominance and 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 like heavy duty um, old school football, you know, West Coast. So thank you so much for watching guys. Um, it's just good to get this even out of my chest, you know. Um, I guess our next opponent next week is gonna be the LA Chargers, which will be uh, interesting because it'll be our first divisional game, division opponent, and it'll be in LA. And it should be a lot of fun. It'll be a big test. The Chargers did beat the Chiefs today, and the Chargers are just a a pretty offensive team. You know, they they're they're powered by Justin Herbert there, and he's just one heck of a quarterback. So we're gonna have a tough game tough challenge for next week but it's just good to know that we're three and zero, and uh we'll see if we can get to four and oh it, it's possible but it's definitely going to be in my opinion um the chargers might be the toughest opponent we have to face yet honestly that's crazy to think that they're they've just improved 
and seem like a little bit more scarier than like the Ravens or the Steelers or the Dolphins. But what's good, by the way, what's good also is that these are AFC opponents we've already beat. So that puts us uh, like in a better position now that our wins are counting toward our own conference and us having a position in the AFC as being, you know, leaders. So again, just thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, anything you got would be great. And uh, see you guys again soon, hopefully with another dub.